Our first stop was Mirjan Fort, which lay just a short distance of the National Highway. After which we would head to Yana Caves, for which we took the Punta. We got our first glimpse of the 16th century Mirjan fort that was taken over by Moss. Being the early hours of the day, it bore a desolate look, giving us the freedom of exploring it. The fort served as a stalwart bastion for diverse rulers from the Vijayanagar Empire to the Marathas. Its strategic placement along the Arabian Sea enabled maritime trade and coastal defence. Records suggest that this was one of the most important places for foreign trades in spices with the Dutch, Portuguese and British. Built over an area of 10 acres using locally available laterite stone, it has witnessed several battles and withstood the test of time. Next, we headed to Yana Caves. We took the route from Kumta, which involves a small trek. The other option is from Sirsi for those who want to avoid a climb. As we rode along, the environment turned into a thick forest with roads winding uphill. There was a pleasant sense of peace as we were surrounded by dense trees all around us. We rode at a relaxed pace. There was a nip in the air and it felt refreshing. We began our trek up to the caves. It had been drizzling on and off and we had suited up in our rain gear. There were no tourists around, just us. The towering trees gave us a sense of how old the place is.
We had to take our footwear off at the temple before the cave and proceed further. Made of cast limestone, the caves aren't too big and open up to striking sunlight. There are two distinct peaks that are pitch black in color. The floor is uneven, so make sure you watch your step.